Have you ever felt alone, even in a crowd, even in a room full of people, even in your home? Have you ever felt alone? I'll talk about that in just a second. active, going somewhere and doing something. Did you know that some of those people, despite the fact that they're with people almost all the time, still feel alone? Why is that? Why do we feel alone when we're in a crowd or when we're around people? It's because I think in this world so often we lack intimacy. I'm not talking about the intimacy in a relationship between a husband and a wife. I'm talking about the intimacy between friends and colleagues. We don't open up to our friends and our colleagues. We don't tell them things. We might work with them and see them every single day, but we very rarely discuss anything important. It's usually the, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right too. Small talk, all the time, small talk. We don't truly, truly open up and talk to other people. And I kind of think that's a shame because you know, God made us to be social creatures. He made us to be in groups together with one another. He made us to worship corporately together. He made us to have friendships and to have fellowship. But you know, I realize that some people have a hard time with that. Sometimes people still feel alone, even despite the fact that they're surrounded by people. But did you know that if we profess Christ, did you know that if we acknowledge who Jesus is, that God dwells in us and we in him? Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, it's partly mysterious, but I like to think of it like this, that no matter where I go, I'm never alone because God is with me. Even in the darkest, deepest pit of despair or in the worst place on earth, God is there and I'm never alone. You don't have to be alone. I hope that you reach a hand out to a friend and talk to them. But more than that, I hope that you acknowledge the Savior and you dwell with God. He's in your heart and in your soul if you have done this. And you will never be alone, even when you feel like you are. That's something to be very positive about. Because let's face it, folks, we all like a little alone time but we certainly don't want to be alone permanently. It drives us crazy. Just ask any prisoner who has endured solitary confinement or people who have been lost on an island alone. We see various examples of this in literature and in real life. No one does this life alone. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. See you next time.